Hello everybody, happy Sunday, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you know, today it is a big celebration for the children of God, for the people of God that we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am hope I hope that you had a wonderful, glorious service in day with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones, with the body of Christ with the people around you. We had a wonderful Sunday today and we are celebrating. We are in the mood of celebration. We are keep we, we keep on celebrating and we are so happy to be here with you. May God bless you so much as you are tuning in. Let us just um, go in worship. Let us praise the Lord and worship the Lord for uh, some minutes and then we will speak what the Lord has for today. May God bless you as you listen. He's so Jesus. We need the Lord. We need Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. He is our King. He is resur resurrected. And we are resurrected with Him. He is worthy. Worthy is the Lamb of God who was slain for us on the cross. That we may have life and life more abundantly. That all of our sins are forgiven. That we have a covenant with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit through the body and the blood of Jesus. Through the body and the blood of Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to receive all the praise and all the honor. May God bless you as you're worshiping. Let's open our hearts to worship the Lord, to give him all the praise and all the honor and all the glory because he deserves all the praise. Oh, the owner, let us pour our hearts to him with praise and thanksgiving for the grace that he has given us, for the peace that he has given us, for life that he has given us, for the mercy that he has given us. Thank you, Father, for giving us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for our sins, to come and die for our sins. He is worthy to be praised. And let me tell you that Jesus Christ he is our Lord and he is resurrected every day 
you really have to be every day thankful for what he has done for us on the cross. It is not only on Easter. We celebrate this together as Christians and the people of God. But Jesus Christ is, is, is re resurrected, is risen already. And we have to be thankful every day of our life. We have to be thankful every day, every time, every night, every minute, every second. Because he took our place for us. He took our place. We, we deserve to hang on the cross. But Jesus came and took a place for us. What we deserve was to lay on the cross, to be crucified like Jesus was, but by his mercy and loving kindness and his grace, he came and he took our place. He took our place that we may have life and life in more abundantly. That is what we call grace. We don't deserve to have life. But because Jesus came and died on the cross, he took our place for us on the cross. And we received grace. That is grace. Grace that he did not deserve to die on the cross. But he said, I will go and die for these people. That they may, be, that they may have life and life more abundantly. That is so powerful. There is a secret. There is a revelation. There is deep things that the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us about what has happened on the cross. There is something more deeper we need to come in this understanding. But we can just come in this understanding through the Holy Spirit when he reveals to us the heart of God, the heart of God, the power of the resurrection. The power of the resurrection. It is only he can reveal this to us. He can reveal this as we have to live day by day by the power of the resurrection. By the finished work of the cross that we have to go our whole life. We go out and, and, and proclaim the good news of the gospel that your sins are forgiven, my brothers and sisters. Your sins are forgiven. That is the good news. Just come and receive Jesus. He died already, even if you don't know him. He died for you on the cross. He has forgiven your sins. Just come to him and accept him. He loves you. He has paid the price, even for me and you, for everybody, for the whole world. The price has been paid. You just have to receive him into your heart. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of sins, the blood must be shed. Through the blood of Jesus, our sins are forgiven. Through the blood of Jesus, we can come before the throne of God. Through the blood of Jesus, we are overcome. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. According to the word of God, we are victorious. We are called children of the, of the Most High God because of His Son Jesus Christ laying His life on the cross, dying for us on the cross. By the wounds of Jesus, we are healed. Let's keep that in our heart. Let that sink deep in our heart. We know we have grace. We have grace. The Lord has given us grace. Let the power of the resurrection, that is the Holy Spirit, that the same Spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead lives in us. The Holy Spirit lives in us. It's the same power that rises up the dead. It's the same power of healing. It's the same power that sets us free. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let us worship. Let us worship. Let us praise him with all our hearts. Let us lift our hearts in praise and worship for only one true God. He is our Savior, the Holy One of Israel, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He has given us authority and power in the name of Jesus. We have power and authority to walk as his children, as his own, as his bride. 
Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to receive all the praise and all the honor and all the adoration. He is our King of kings and the Lord of lords and the Prince of peace. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God bless you. May the Lord touch your heart and receive the power and the anointing and the revelation for what the Lord Jesus Christ has died has done for us on the cross. Receive the, the revelation of the resurrection power. Hallelujah. Let us thank him and worship him with all our hearts. Let us, let us praise him and lift his name up on high. And let us surrender to him. Let us surrender to Jesus. Let us surrender to Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. He is holy. He is worthy. He is holy. There is no one like him. There is no one like him who can do nothing without him. We are lost without the Father. We are lost without the Son and the Holy Spirit. We can do nothing by our own selves. We can do nothing by our own selves. We can do nothing without you, Jesus. We are lost without you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise your holy name and we lift your name on up on high. Our God and Savior. He is the Savior of the world. He is our Savior. He is King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is worthy to be praised. He is mighty to serve. There is no one like him. He is worthy, 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 worthy. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb of God. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. That is the lame of God. The lame of God. The lame of God. The lame of God. And down to you we lift our voice in praise. He's the lame upon the throne. Let us worship him. Let us worship him. Let us praise him and lift our hearts to him. We lift our hearts to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus that covers us, that hides us, that cleans us, purifies us, make us new. Oh, hallelujah, thank you for your blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised, you are the Lamb of God. Help me worship you. You deserve all our praise. To you, we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb. He's worthy to the praise. You are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the name of Hallelujah. 
He is glorious and worthy to be praised. There is no one like Him, Jesus. There is no one like You, Jesus. We praise You, our King. We worship You. We praise You. We worship You, Jesus. We lift Your name on our high. Oh, Lord, thank you, Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. We lift our voice in praise. Oh, it's all about Jesus. We as the body of Christ, we are united through His Spirit, through the Holy Spirit. It's not about me, it's not about you, it's not about anything. It's about Him. It's about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we as His bride, what a privilege. How precious, how wonderful is His love for us. How powerful, how mighty His love is for us, for His children, for His people. He don't want us to perish. He is glorious. He is worthy to the grace. He is worthy. He is the Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel, Emmanuel. Hey, Even if 
we have coronavirus. They want to stop our mouth from worshiping the Lord. They put those masks. But our heart will worship the one and the living God. We will worship in our houses. We will worship in the church. We will worship when we sleep day and night. We will worship Him with all our hearts. The body of Christ is called to wake up right now. And let them be revealed to the world and see we will worship. We will not bow down. To bow. We will not bow down and not worship the one and living God. Because of the situation around the world, we will worship Him the more. We will worship Him more and more and more and more because He is the one, our Savior, our Lord, our God. And the only way He is Jesus. He is our King and we will worship Him no matter what happens. They cannot hold us back. He is holy. He is the Lamb upon the throne of God. And the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus is speaking on our behalf. The blood of Jesus is speaking on our behalf. The blood of Jesus is powerful. There is power in the blood of Jesus. He is glorious. He is worthy. He is the Lamb upon the throne of God. We all will lift our voice to Him. We praise Him and we worship Him. We lift our voice and praise and worship Him. We worship the Lord, the God. We worship you further. We worship you, Jesus. He is glorious, he is glorious, he is glorious and worthy to be praised. That is our God, the lame upon the throne. The lame upon the throne. Hallelujah. We lift his name. We worship Him, the Lamb of God. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to receive all the honor. And we thank Him and we lift His name on high. We thank Him. There is no one like Him. There is no one like Him. May God bless you so much for listening. May God bless you so much. May God bless you for everything that I've done today. Let your heart be filled with joy and with the power and with the truth of the Holy Spirit. I let the blood of Jesus Christ cover you and your family and the whole day and the whole week and the new month in your cities. Let you be light and light when you go out. Let the light of Jesus shine through you. We are the chosen children. We are the chosen people. We are a holy nation. We are peculiar people. We are the people of the covenant. Hey, we are covenant people. The covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through his body and blood. We have a covenant with the Father, with the Son, and with the Holy Spirit. We are one spirit with him. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. We praise his holy name. We praise Him. Just praise Him through your day. Praise Him through your night. Praise Him through your week. Praise Him and worship Him with all your heart. With all your heart. Praise Him and honor Him and lift His name up on high. Because He is worthy to be praised. And let the power of God and the Spirit of God be upon your life. And let you walk in the same authority, in the same anointing that Jesus Christ walk in. Walk in the same authority. In the name of Jesus. It is not by might, neither is it by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I love you so much. May God bless you. Worship the Lord in your family. Worship the Lord in your working place. Worship him because he deserves all the praise and all the glory and all the honor and all our heart. Give your heart to Jesus. 
Give your heart to him. Give your heart to Jesus. He is worthy to be praised. I love you, my sisters and brothers in the Lord. May God bless you so much and thank you so much for tuning in. I love you and we'll see us next time. Bye.